and welcome to my channel, Stacio Designs, where we talk all about sublimation, hacks, crafts, and everything in between. So if you're new here, please go subscribe and hit the bell so that you're notified every time I do an upload. And those that are returning viewers, thank you so much, and I appreciate you. So let's get going with today's topic. I'm talking about how to, how to sublimate on black. Technically, you cannot. You cannot use true sublimation techniques on black. Sublimation ink is transparent. So think of it like a highlighter. If you have a green highlighter and you swipe it across a white piece of paper, you see green. If you take that same green highlighter and swipe it across a black piece of paper, you won't see anything. So that's how sublimation inks work. They're, they interact with the color behind it. So that's what we are tackling today. So there are tons of sublimation hacks where you are able to print using sublimation and getting your design on a black shirt. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use your sublimation ink and printer to be able to create designs for a black shirt using Glitter HTV, Flock HTV, Easy Subly, Clear HTV, and Glow in the Dark HTV. All of those will take sublimation ink. So I'm gonna show you how to go from this, just a plain old $1 bandana that I'm using from Walmart. I'm gonna go from this to this. So I'm gonna show you how I did it. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna do a close up of all of these and you can make the choice which technique works best for you and your family and your shirts and your customers. All right, let's go to the video. I'm starting off this project printing five three by three squares of the most colorful image I can find. Next, I'm cutting all of my HTVs in three by three squares. I'm starting off with glitter, then flock, easy subly, clear, and glow in the dark. The clear and glow in the dark both require white HTV as well. Okay, so before I start pressing anything, I just wanted to show you that this is how I cut everything out. I just did three inch squares and labeled everything. So when we're all done, um, you could see the comparison between all of these different options for using sublimation ink on black. So I'm just using this bandana. I think I got it at Walmart. Um, One dollar and perfect for this example. And lint rolling anything, if you press with any lint on it, you might see it through some of the thinner vinyls. All right. And just to get those wrinkles out, I'm gonna pre-press this. So by pre-pressing, you're getting out wrinkles and you're taking out the moisture in the garment, which could interact with your vinyl and your ink. And then that's how you get blurry images is when you have moisture in the fabric. Okay, we're gonna go with this. So first I am I'm just going to adhere some of these on here. Let's do this with the clear. So for clear, I'm actually doing a white layer underneath. So we're just tacking these down right now. Probably should have done this separately. Glitter, flock, white, and then I'm just going to put this clear over it. Not 100% perfect, hold on. Okay. Okay. 
and the clear is a cold peel. So I'm just going to wait until this cools off. And of course now I realize I wrote the word clear here. You can't see it. It's all right. Okay, so I have everything laid out here. Um, I'm just gonna start with these three. And I think I probably messed up by doing all three at once. But the glitter and flock are the same temp. So if I do it this way, I could do two of those together and then the clear separately. So I have, I've cut out all of my designs. So let's just attach two of these for now. So we're gonna do, which way? Cover with some parchment paper. Okay, so I've increased my heat to 385 and I'm going to press these for 45 seconds. So nice. Great ink release. Beautiful. And now for the flock, which usually gives a much softer look. It does. Even if you do it longer, it's just the nature of the flock. It's just a softer look. But both of them came out perfect. Exactly. So now let's do the clear. So for the clear, I the clear is only going to be 45 seconds. Actually, no, I'm doing this. I don't have to go over that. And I am using Reynolds brand parchment paper. It is a no fail when it comes to sticking. All right, 45 seconds at 385. I think I'm gonna let it cool for a minute. So I did take it off the press to cool off, but I've never really had amazing luck with clear. I've done it before. Maybe it was the paper. Maybe this is just paper and I just need to scrub it off. Hold on, let me go try that. So yeah, this is just paper residue. See how it's all coming off there? So you just gotta do a little work to get that paper off. But I mean, all this cleans up, but the technique works. I'm not a huge fan of clear. I find um, after a couple of washes, it actually gets blurry. 
All right, moving on. So now I could put this down here and move on to the rest of the stuff. Okay, I'm gonna do, put it up here. Okay, so this is gonna be white and glow in the dark. And I'm just tacking it on. And I have my same image. And this is the dark. 385 for 45 seconds. All right, that's, that is some serious uh, ink transfer. So that looks good. All right, last one. This is the Easy Subly. And we're just I'm just gonna tack it on there. And beautiful. All right, so let's let this cool for a minute and take a look at all of these together. Okay, so the first one we did was glitter. Glitter HTV. It is white glitter HTV. There's also a rainbow HTV, which I have used, but doesn't come out as vibrant. This is white glitter HTV. And I would say this is maybe second or third running. This came out super perfect, nice and bright. This one's great. The next one is Flock HTV. I personally find Flock difficult to cut, like you can see. I've used new blades. I've done different settings. It's just me maybe. I don't know. 
but I do like how it looks. It gives a much softer feel. I guess it depends on what you're using it for. Um, I have used it in the past and it looks really good. Blacks look really good on flock. So this is clear. I've used clear before. So there's a white layer underneath and then a clear layer on top. So it's transparent HTV on top of white HTV. So you see all this? This is all residual paper and adhesive. I don't know what's going on here, but I mean, the color looks relatively decent, but I wouldn't want to deal with all of this. I'm not a fan of clear. And I have used it in the past, and I, after a few washes, it gets a little blurry. So, not a fan. All right. Here's the Glow in the Dark. So, it's Glow in the Dark HTV on top of white HTV. Because Glow in the Dark is very thin. So, if you put it on black or red or blue or anything that's dark, there's definite color migration so your image won't be as bright so i suggest putting white underneath it this looks pretty good this looks good and it's super fun i've done this quite a few times for friends and it's a lot of fun and if you haven't tried glow i suggest you try glow and finally the easy subly which is definitely my favorite um, it's right up there with the glitter, but Easy Subly is vibrant. It holds up. Um, it, I definitely like the feel of Subly better than I do glitter. Glitter is very, very rough. Um, the Subly definitely has a feel to it and like a big block of it probably wouldn't be too comfortable on a shirt, but if you had cuts, it's very nice. Um, holds up to 25 washes little expensive but it's definitely worth it okay so here they are all together and you can take a screenshot of this and you can decide on your own which ones you would like to try out which ones would be best for your use um, and i will try and put some links in the description of where i got some of these 